Michael. I'm Nash. I'm and we are back with a brand new maths game. This game is called Multiple Machine and it is great. Now, to play you need a regular deck of cards. We've also set up a scoreboard today that we'll show later. Um, so pen and paper to do the scoring on. Now with the deck of cards, you need zero to nine cards. So we've got school friendly cards. Um, if you're using a regular deck, queens are zeros, uh, aces are ones, take all the other cards out. Now to start with, you're gonna flip over four cards that are gonna be your target numbers. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. Now this is good. We can't have a target number of one. Okay, so the target numbers need to be between two and nine. So ones and zeros we're not going to use and they have to be four different target numbers. So we're going to take that one out and we're going to try another one. Now we've got four different. So five, two, eight and six. And we'll shuffle the remaining cards up again. Now once we've set that up, we're going to deal each player eight cards. So I'll do that. Now, each player is going to take their eight cards. The other cards we're just going to put off to the side we don't need. Now, once they've got their cards, we're going to flip them over. And the aim is you're trying to make four two-digit numbers. And each two-digit number needs to be a multiple of one of these target numbers. So for each two-digit number you can make, you score a point. Okay, so five, two, six, and eight. So I'm going to try, let's try 85 for 5. I'll put that down there. Yeah, you can do yours on the top, Nash. Um, All right. Let's go 88 for 8. No! This is something 5. Good job, Isaiah, and we'll check yours in a second. Oh, they're all. You can change it. Yeah, I'm going to put those two back. Okay. Four. And so you'll see as we're going, you can try and make numbers and then you can pull them back and you can play around with them. No, you yeah, had zero there, 70. I didn't make that. Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah. I dropped on one. Yeah, I've got mine. All right, Isaiah, you have a play with yours. So, would 80 minus 8 be a multiple of 8? You tell me, would 80 minus 8 be a multiple of 8? Yeah. Bang. 80, 70, 9. You don't need to count backwards. What's 80 minus 8? 72. Yep. So that's that. Put that there for the 8. And now for 2. For 7, I can. For 2, I need to do. Um, 14. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm okay, now let's get our little scoreboard over here. So Isaiah, what have you got for a multiple of five? Seventy. Yeah, multiple of two. Fourteen. Multiple of six. Thirty-six. And multiple of eight. Seventy-two. So you score four points because you made all of them. Yep. yep. All right, Nashi, read me out yours. Five. 
So at the end of round one, the score is four all. So now the way we've decided to play is we normally play three rounds. So all of the cards will be collected back up and we would start the next round the exact same way. So we'd start by first picking four cards that are gonna be our target numbers and remembering they need to be four different cards and they need to be the numbers two to nine. And then we deal out eight cards to each player. Now, what we've fit, and we're not gonna have a one in there, nine would work, eight would work, three would work, and then we shuffle again. Now, what we've found is that normally when you play three rounds, you'll end up with a winner because sometimes you get cards where you can't make all four numbers. Um, if you get to the end of three rounds and the score is 12 all, or the score is 11 all, or whatever it might be, the tie break round, you just start reducing the number of target cards and the number of um, cards you're dealing to each player. So if we needed to do like a fourth round to decide the winner, you would play with three target numbers and each player would only get six cards. Some fewer number of target numbers, harder it is to make them. Um, that is Multiple Machine. Uh, we hope you enjoy and we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 bye.